Hi everyone, FIFA Korea Gems here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today and welcome to the first look at FIFA 18 World Cup mode. So once you've downloaded today's update, the FIFA home screen will look like this with a new option to start the 2018 FIFA World Cup. You can also go into the play menu and where you would have your career, it's been replaced by 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia. So let's have a look at the options. You can continue a tournament that you've already started, load a previous tournament, start a tournament with the original World Cup teams, or you can customize your own World Cup. It's very simple to do. You click on your right trigger on the Xbox One, the team you want to replace. So we'll just choose Sweden and replace them with Italy. Very easy to do if you'd like to put your favorite country or the country of your origin into the 2018 World Cup. There's some very good sides who haven't qualified. Turkey, Chile, Italy, the Netherlands. But just for the illustration purposes, we're going to start a original World Cup with the squad who actually qualified. I'm going to use Nigeria simply because I love their home kit. So the World Cup central screen looks like this. Play match, group stage, tables, top scorers and news. Into the squad screen, you still can't change your international squad numbers, which is very frustrating. But as in team management screen in normal FIFA 18 career mode, you can make whatever changes to your squad you choose. So I'm just going to stick Henry on your curry win. Moses Simon as well. A couple of my favourite Nigerians from FIFA 18. I'm just swap Iwobi and Moses Simon round, and that'll do. So now on to play match, or you can alternatively choose to sim the match. Make sure I use the favourite Nigeria shirt, love that kit. Completely amazing. We'll put Croatia in there away shirt. I'm not going to show you any of the gameplay. Get this nice little cutscene. Kaliningrad Stadium. New stadium with a capacity of 35,000. When that's eventually loaded up, press your menu button to play on the Xbox One. And the TV package will kick in to introduce the stadium players. So let's just have a little look at the TV package. Sadly, we've still got Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. The Adidas World Cup ball. Teams lining up with the logo in the centre. Look at that amazing Nigeria home shirt. What I did notice when you look at the players who are starting, the TV package is very similar to that of La Liga. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Shows you your lineup like this, your formation on the left, and your players as they scroll through on the right. Very similar to, like I previously mentioned, the La Liga package. Very good Croatian side. Manzucic up top. Now the same with the Nigerian team. Nadidi, top player, Mikel, not a bad player. On your Kuru, it will be Moses Simon. And you got a low up front, formerly of Watford. So now we'll look at a few of the face scans that I've heard rumours were going to be official in the World Cup mode. First one is Bernardo Silva of Portugal and Manchester City. Far better than his generic face he has in FIFA 18. One of the main star young players in FIFA 18, Marco Asensio in the World Cup mode, has got a face scan. Likewise, Osman Dembele of Barcelona and France. His French compatriot, Thomas Lamar from Monaco. 
and Gianluigi Donnarumma from the not qualified Italy. Now these face scans do not carry over to any saved career modes. I have tried it on a couple of occasions. So that's my first look at the World Cup mode in FIFA 18. Very aesthetically pleasing. I'm going to get stuck into some gameplay later on. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my YouTube uploads. FCG out.